Hey, Slava here, and welcome to, well, not preparing for Ark Survival Ascended. This is Ark Survival Ascended. So, uh, lots happened since my last video, so uh, the release on Steam, obviously, I'm assuming everyone's up to date with the release on Steam occurring, uh, the fact that Xbox and PlayStation have been delayed, uh, and I think Xbox has just been delayed again today. So um, it was due to come out tomorrow and I think it's now been pushed back another couple of days. Um, so that's not great. Uh, and PlayStation still no date confirmed. So at this stage they're talking end of November, but uh, they've gone pretty quiet on that as well. So who knows, PlayStation looks like it could be uh, happening in December as well. So we'll just have to wait and see. But in the meantime, I have uh, managed to get uh, ASA on my PC. So I've been playing a little bit over the last couple of weeks uh, and there's been sort of radio silence on videos. So my apologies for that, but I've got very caught up in actually playing the game. Um, and I have to say, it's pretty awesome. So I'm not disappointed by it. Um, lots of crashes, lots of server crashes. Uh, lots of game crashes. Uh, my PC isn't the best spec PC, so uh, it's uh, it's not you know a high end sort of you know 4070 or 4090 graphics card or whatever. Um, so it uh, it runs it, but it does an okay job about it. Uh, but it's not perfect. Um, but you can see uh, even just looking at the screen here um, that uh, the difference in actual uh, graphics and um, how you know things like the sand and the rocks and the foliage and all that kind of thing look um, it is awesome uh, the water you know the difference is just astronomical between Ark Survival Evolved and Ark Survival Ascended but I'm not here today to talk about the difference between the two um, I'm here today to cover a topic which one of the last topics that I did in my preparing for Ark Survival Ascended series which was the taming raft um, so today we're going to look at how we recreate that taming raft in Ark Survival Ascended. I've had some feedback on that video since it was launched. Uh, some people saying that you can't sink foundations anymore in ASA. Uh, that is uh, not correct. Um, some people saying that the way that the foundations were sunk before doesn't work anymore. Um, that's kind of correct, but uh, but there is a way around it. Um, the RG trap doesn't work with the new version. Yes, that's true, but we've got a new one of those too. And, uh, and also just a couple of other um, pointers. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and just effectively recreate the exact same raft um, in ASA, and I'll show you the differences and like the couple of tweaks that need to be made as a result um, to make sure that uh, you've got yourself a successful taming raft. So, let's get into it. All right. Uh, in my inventory, I have all the stuff that we'll need. Now, you'll notice a lot less materials this time around. So if you have not played ASA yet, so if you are um, a console player or you are a PC player is just holding off getting it while it's um, still causing some uh, people some headaches, uh, then fair enough. But you may not be aware of the fact that the building materials have changed quite significantly and not only the size of the building materials, so particularly the walls are a little bit different in size, um, but the way that these building materials are used. So if I select a wall, for example, so you can see there's a stone wall. Um, I can't place it there, there's no snap point, but you can see it there hovering up above. Now, if you look underneath the wall in the UI, you can see there it says one out of six stone wall. Bam. I can switch between a wall, a normal sort of short doorway, a full length doorway, a double doorway, and a thing, uh, a window, sorry, is the next one, and then a thing called a secret doorway, which is pretty cool as well. Um, and then it brings me back to the generic wall. So one piece of building equipment, if you want to call it that, one piece of structure allows you to have access to six different structures. Um, which A, makes uh, crafting this stuff a lot more efficient. So you can just craft a whole load of walls and you don't have to worry about whether you need doorways, whether you need walls. Um, for ceilings, hatch frames are the same. Um, for sloped ceilings, you've got sloped ceilings, you've got ramps, you've got stairs, all within the same um, structure. So it's actually a really cool addition um, and it's a really nice way of making the building a lot easier. Uh, and so for that reason, 
it seems like there are a lot less um, different structures that we need for this. Uh, the actual materials themselves are roughly the same. Now, placement of the wood fence foundation. Now you will remember last time um, I told you that you needed to place the foundation so that the end of the foundation met in the middle of the run. So I'm going to say that's roughly there. Yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, and then the next step that we did was we placed a wood pillar in the middle and that allowed us to sink a foundation, whoops, if I don't fall off the raft, uh, sink a foundation in the middle of the raft. Now, if you try to do that again, it will still sink the foundation, but it does not sink it in the middle of the raft. It actually sinks it off to one side. Um, and that is not what we're looking for. So we're gonna pick that back up again. And for that, uh, I'm actually going to move the raft out a little bit closer to the shore. Mess up with the snap points, there we go. So instead, we're going to take our wooden foundation and we're going to place it literally in the middle of the raft. So, still at the end here, but we want to see how our crosshair is pretty much in the middle of that uh, hide sail square, that little black square. That's where we're going to place it in the middle and then instead of putting the pillar in the middle of the raft like we did before we're going to add it off to one side like that and if we do that we can then sink our foundation in the middle like we did before so we can add our other foundations around the outside like so five foundations and we can pick up a wood pillar that's the other thing about building in asa you can pick up anything anytime oh, not the raft so there is no time limit on and this is unofficial i've played on the official servers there's no time limit on which you can pick stuff up so um which is awesome again you know for people laying traps and stuff like that um, it's so much better that you can, you know, carry around the materials for a pitfall trap and you can simply pick it up when you're finished with it. So we can place a hatch frame in the middle there, which still allows us to access the raft. And we can switch that to the ceiling and place them out like that. Brilliant. Yeah, so as I said, you have a hatch frame there, you can still access the raft through the hole. Um, but it gives you a nice sort of consistent stone finish across the entire raft itself. Now we've got our basis. Let's uh, wax some walls around the outside. So this will form the pitfall section of the trap. Uh, we're going to put that there. Um, we'll put these across here. This is going to be the bit where bed and... Uh, our smithy will go that goes that way around and then here we can do our doorways so uh, which one do I want I want the thing there and here we want one there as well Sweet. Up here we want our double doorway and that's about it and we can actually get our doors doors in place here door it some ceilings up so we can enclose this area so if you'd seen the previous video, you'll probably notice by now, this is very similar to uh, what, uh, how I laid out the previous one. Uh, I'm going to bed down there. I'm going to put the smithy there. They're nice and compact up that end. At the way of the doors, at the way of danger. Uh, we're going to put those oh, up the wall there. So it's the same way around. Uh, and, and we're going to whack ladder up here. OK. 
Okay, so now we can climb up onto this section. Uh, and first thing is, let's just build the rest of our pit full trap. Like that. Nice. Now we can extend this section out. We did before. And we can put our RG trap over here. Now the RG trap, now again, uh, as I said before in the last video, I used the Captain Fat Dog design. Um, now Captain Fat Dog in true Fat Dog fashion has come up with a revised ASA trap as we knew he would. Um, and he's done it pretty damn quickly. So it's basically, I'll leave a link in the description to his video because uh, it'll show far more accomplished way of achieving it uh, but effectively it is those three double door frames um, and then a sloped roof on top not a flat roof come on mama float through come on just simply oh, change the snap points get the spot get it closer from the side go sloped roof up like that and we whack our double doorway in here and that's basically the revised RG trap so you leave the RG in here that way and then you run around and you open the door and it traps the RG brilliant that dog is a genius all right, now we're just going to finish this section off. So let's put, uh, I'm going to put a couple more walls. Actually, I'm going to put a double door here. And then let's switch back to walls. So there and there. Doorway in. That's just an easy way of getting in and out of here rather than having to jump off the back of the raft, which I think was a little bit... Um, as I said before, I don't enclose this area of the raft. I'll leave this open because there's nothing worse than having something glitch through the wall where you are <laughs> and, uh, and ruin your day. Let's get around here. Have our ramps we can add. So, and that gives us access to the pitfall. Nice. We can escape, but nothing else can. One up to here. Uh, there was a ladder placed here, didn't I? So that we could get up onto this next level here if we needed to shoot something that was down there. And then we have uh, one last piece of ramp, which we can place there. Um, we cannot place it here uh, because that structure is too far away from the platform. So it will not allow us to place it there like it did previously, um, but you can place it there. And basically you'll just run and jump up onto this um, and run around here to kite the RG into the trap. Nice and easy. And there we go. There is the exact same taming raft in ASA. And I have to say, I've used this raft. Um, I've used this raft on official and it works a treat. Uh, the, um, I, I Unfortunately, I took it into the snow area and uh, got it wedged in between two icebergs and couldn't move it. Uh, and it was there for a few days and then an alpha leads destroyed it <laughs> so my uh, raft on official is gone um, but uh, it was exactly the same design and exactly the same build as this um, which matches exactly what i've done in the uh, preparing for video so 
if um, I guess the only other thing to mention is that uh, this is a two by two pitfall trap. Um, so in the ASE video that I did, I managed to trap a Rex in here, much to my own surprise, because I didn't think you could trap a Rex in a two by two, even on ASE. Um, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't be able to do it on ASA. I actually had a little bit of trouble getting an Anki in here. So some of the body models of the dinos in ASA uh, seem to be a little bit different. Um, so you may not find that uh, everything that used to fit in a 2x2 two two will still fit in one. Um, but to be honest, if that's the case, uh, what you can do is you can extend the trap by another two foundations back to make it a uh, two a two by three um, and you can just relocate the RG trap uh, either to this side uh, the front of uh, where it is at the moment or onto the ceiling up the top where I'm standing so not too much of a, a, a drama or of course with ASA as I mentioned you can pick structures up so you know what you can modify this on the fly um, so if you see yourself a Rex that you want to trap, then just simply pick up the RNG trap, pick up the walls required, relocate the ones that you've got, and make yourself a 2x3 pitfall trap um, for your Rex. It's, uh, it's that simple. No more destroying structures, uh, no more having to carry extra materials with you. Um, the, uh, the building mechanic in this game is it's not even a hundred percent better it's like 500 percent better than uh, than ase it is i absolutely hated building in ase um and i have to say i'm getting i'm rediscovering a new joy of building in asa because it just makes life so much easier um, and it's such a better much better interface to use so there we go that's uh that's the trap so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, maybe drop us a like, subscribe if you can, and um, I will no doubt catch you in the next video. There are more videos coming, so um, I have had a bit of a break while I was playing uh, some ASA on PC, but as soon as it comes out on console, I plan on doing another playthrough, and uh, we'll, do some, uh, we'll release some videos as that comes out. So thanks again for watching. I'm Lama, and I'm out of here.